In this video, I'm going to show you in detail how to remove the lower unit off of a 1995 OMC Evinrude Johnson outboard motor. Here's the shop manual. Let's take a quick look at what it shows. Here's a quick diagram of what's inside this lower unit. You can pause this anytime you want to take a closer look. And here's the instructions for removing the lower unit. And the one thing I want to point out is right here on number two, rotate the propeller on the pillar shaft and shift the gear case in reverse. Then pull retaining pin number A, which is which is right here from the shift lever and push the shift lever toward the power head. This is how you get the shift rod to release so you can drop it down out of the midsection. Okay, take a look at the actual motor. You can see here's that little clip right there they're talking about. And when you pull that out, then this shift rubber right here will push in that direction and it'll basically be pushing the pin out of the shift rod that goes down to the lower unit. Here's what the top of the shift rod looks like. So there's a pin that's on the back side of this that when you push that shift rod towards the power head, it actually pushes the pin right out of this. So now it's released to drop down out of the midsection. This little clip actually comes all the way out. So you want to be very careful not to drop it down into the mid housing like I just did. But fortunately, it's just laying right there on the bottom and I can still retrieve it. It's a close up of what it actually looks like. Hey, we'll be back in a little over 60 seconds and we're gonna pause real quick to see if you need any eternal repair. You might say, eternal repair, what's that? Well, hey, consider your whole life and all your life, have you ever told a lie before? I have and I'm sure you have too. We all have. Also consider, have you ever stolen something even no matter how small it was? I'm sure you have and I have too. The whole point of where I'm going with this is those two rules, lying and stealing, those are two of the 10 commandments in the Bible for which define what sin is. So if you've broken even one of those rules, no matter how small it was, that means you've sinned and we all have. The punishment for sin is going to hell or eternal separation from God. The good news is Jesus Christ came to this earth. He didn't lie, he didn't steal, he didn't do all these crazy stuff that you and I've done. He was totally without sin. He was sacrificed on the cross for my personal sin and yours. He went to the grave. Three days later, he defeated death and now he sits beside the Father in heaven. The whole point of why he had to take that punishment on the cross was he was taking the punishment for your sin and for my sin. But it can only be accounted to you if through faith you believe in who he was, what he did, you submit to him as your Lord, and you repent. And when you do that, you can have eternal habitation with Jesus and the rest of the saints for eternity in heaven. You might be saying to yourself, hey, I'm a good person. Surely God wouldn't send me to hell for all the nice things I've done for people. But the truth of the matter is the Bible says, by grace you've been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man or woman should boast. There is no amount of good work you can do to earn your righteousness before God only faith and trust in what Jesus has done for you on the cross. Hey, let's get back to our video and I'll have a little more information on the eternal portion of this at the end of the video. There's basically six bolts to hold this lower unit on. There's two on both sides. There's one more underneath right directly above the prop. And then there's one that's hidden underneath this trim plate. Once you take out the bolt in the middle of the trim plate, now it exposes another bolt that's hidden right up in the top of this cavity right here. I've taken all the bolts out except for the one that's right above the prop shaft. I'm going to spin this one out slowly and hold on to this thing as it'll start dropping the lower unit out of the mid housing. See this gap starting to open up as I'm taking this bolt out. Keep your hand on it so it doesn't fall. We get it totally out. Okay, bolt's out. And here comes the lower unit. You may have to trim your motor to get it to completely clear the ground. There you have it. Take note there's a rubber gasket that goes on top of this exhaust housing. It may come off with the lower unit or it may end up staying up in the top of the motor right there. But just make sure you know that it's there so that when you put it back together you got all the parts in place. When you come up here and look at the way it came out, you can see how this thing twists and it swings over to the right side of the motor. This thing is actually threaded into the unit. Be sure not to twist the shaft because it's actually threaded into the bottom of the lower unit and it's an adjustment of how tall this thing is by the number of times it's rotated. So leave it exactly the way it came out of the motor. Hey, as far as the eternal portion I was talking about, if you're not sure you know who God is, 
I encourage you to just to pray like this. Say, Lord Jesus, if you are real and you are out there, I pray you would reveal yourself to me in a tangible way. And when you make that prayer, he's going to answer it, and you will know he is real. At the point you know he is real and you're ready to accept him as your Lord and Savior, the gospel is so simple. All you have to do is just pray like this. Say, Lord Jesus, I recognize that you are the Son of God. You took the price for my personal sin on the cross. I surrender my will to your will as Lord of my life. I repent of my sin. Thank you for loving me, forgiving me, and accepting me into your eternal habitation. That's just how simple it is. But the catch is that just saying those words won't do anything for you, only unless the heart believes the words that you're speaking. For the Bible says in Romans 10:9, if you confess with your mouth Jesus Christ is Lord, which I just did, and you believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Salvation only comes through faith and believing. Hey, if you get a chance, visit our website, eternalrepair.com, where we have a lot more information about your walk with Jesus Christ. That's eternalrepair.com. Thanks for watching.